What's going on, guys? How are you guys doing today? Me? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I just wanted to come and have a little talk about um, confidence and how to gain confidence or regain confidence. And um, typically when I come and talk to you guys about things, I usually um, pull examples from my own personal life. I really only like to talk about things that I have experienced dealing with myself. I never want to try to speak on a subject that I don't know from experience um, because then I'm just shooting off the hip and I had no success in that area. So why am I even trying to you know, tell you how you're going to have success in that area? So I like to talk about things that I know because I have experienced it and I saw some level of success from my experience. Um, so I might get a little personal. And I would say, in order to build confidence or regain confidence, you have to start with one principle, at least starting with this one principle, and that is understanding what you're in control of and what you're not in control of. Um, I can tell you that when I went through a breakup in my past with my ex, the hardest part was the fact that I wasn't in control anymore. The fact that I couldn't make her want to work through the issues or work through the problems. So I think the control aspect was the hardest part. It was no longer in my control. And I had to release that perceived control to the universe. You know, I'm not in control. There's nothing I can do. I've tried all that I can do, so it's on her. And being able to give up that perceived control is very difficult. Um, but it wasn't until a while after the fact that I realized that the fact that I wasn't in control was the reason why I was feeling so down. So understand the things that you can control and the things that you can't. And for the things that you can't control, you need to stop giving so much energy to because they're out of your control. There's nothing you can do about it. So why are we stressing over things that we can't control? For instance, my personality. I can't control my personality. I was born with this particular type of personality. I can't control that to please other people or to make other people feel good about me. You either like me or you don't based off of who I am. So. Those things I can't change. Now, if somebody chooses not to like me because of my personality, there's nothing I can do about that, nor am I going to try to change my personality to make them feel better about me because in the end, I won't be happy. I may be able to change things, put up a front to where it looks like I'm a I'm a different individual and my, I'm no longer outgoing. Now I'm a lot more pessimistic, but that's not me to my core. That's not me being my true self, which means I'll never be happy because you won't be happy unless you're your truest self. So I'm never going to try to change people's opinions of me when it's based off of things that I can't change, like my personality. Now. If I'm trying to be successful in a particular area and I just don't have the confidence because maybe I'm not as strong as other people in that particular area, those are things I can work on. Those are things that I can change, that I have control over, that I can create more confidence around. For instance, Planet Fitness has built a whole business based off of judgment-free zone where you're not intimidated coming to the gym and seeing all these other buff women and men around you. It's a judgment-free zone. So you should be able to come to the gym feeling comfortable. And for me, you know, when I first started working out, I wasn't the most comfortable going to the gym because I maybe wasn't as strong as I used to be or I'm not as strong as the next person that's on the bench press. You know, so that stuff kind of weighs on your confidence. And I know that I shouldn't allow it to have an effect on me, but it does. Now, what we're trying to figure out is how do we tackle this? How do I get to a point to where I'm confident enough where I can go to the gym and feel good? and not necessarily be worried about what the next person thinks about me because I'm comfortable in my own skin. Now, what I did was 
in the beginning, I went and worked out at night when there wasn't a ton of people in the gym. You know, did that maybe for a month or so to where I was able to gain my confidence. I had lost some fat, gotten stronger, you know, started to look aesthetically, started to look a lot better. So, you know, I gained that confidence. So now when I go to the gym during the day, I feel good because I either look just as good or I look better than other people that are in the gym. And, you know, when you're on a machine doing certain exercises and people are coming up to you and they're seeing the changes in your body. They're saying like, man, you're getting big, man. You got a nice pump today. It gives you that confidence. That confidence starts to go up. And when your confidence goes up, we got to keep it up. We can't allow it to drop. We can't backtrack because then we fall back into those same negative emotions and feelings that we were feeling before of, I'm not good enough, man, I used to be stronger, man. So it's being able to get yourself in a place where you're feeling very good about yourself and confident and withholding that, staying consistent, you know, continuing to keep your body in good shape. Um, and that's just pertaining to fitness, but you can take that to a lot of different areas within your life. If I am trying to apply for a particular job, you know, a lot of people are nervous because they may feel like they can't fulfill the requirements that the company's asking for. They may feel like they didn't go to Harvard. They didn't go to a, you know, a school, a prestigious school. So they may feel inadequate when it when they're compared to other people that are applying for that same job. So how do I get myself in a place where I'm feeling confident about applying for this job or interviewing for this job? I, you know, I'm going to get all the side work and all the side knowledge that I need to know. I'm going to get my uh, supply chain certifications. I'm going to, you know, get all the things that I need to make myself feel comfortable. So it's, it's doing the work on the back end. So when I'm applying to this job or when I'm interviewing for this job, I know my stuff. I'm ready for it. I'm not feeling that lack of confidence because people can smell that. People can see that conf that lack of confidence on you, especially like women. If you're trying to approach women in a bar, in a club, in a grocery store, <laughs> library, if you're trying to approach women, they can tell when a man is confident, and and it's all it's all body movements, it's all how they're looking at you. If your eyes are directly on them, are you speaking with a um, no wavering in your voice? Is your is your voice firm? Is your body firm? Are you confident? Are you close with them? Are you showing that confidence? They can pick up on that. So it's about us getting ourselves in a place to where when it's time to perform, we're ready. So that means we need to do work on the back end to build that confidence. So when it's time to perform, we're ready. You know, if I'm, I'm playing in big time playoff games, I'm ready because I know I was waking up at 6 a.m. in the morning getting that workout in, and I know there's not many other players that are doing what I was doing. So my confidence is higher because I've been I've been preparing for this all year. So those are things that we can change. The things that we can't change are the things that we need to learn not to give so much energy to. We need to just let those be and say, oh, well. You know, you had to get yourself to a place to where you can't allow people to affect you on things you can't change that you have no control over. I have control over my behavior. Um, when I was, you know, in my bad relationship where I was bringing a lot of toxic energy to, I can own up to my bad behavior. I can change that. Good thing, you know, my ex loved me for who I was, my personality. She was with me for eight years, so she loved my personality, but maybe didn't like my behavior. And the good thing about her not liking my behavior or not liking how I was treating her at the time, the good thing about that is that I can change that. Those are not things that I can't change. Now, when it gets to us changing particular things about us, though, you want to be doing it for yourself. I don't want to lean too much on 
you changing for other people and making them happy. You need to be doing things that make you happy. As I was saying the job interview, as I'm saying the gym, I'm meaning you need to be doing it for you first. Now, people liking how I look from me working out in the gym every week, that's just an additive. But I go to the gym every week for me because I need to feel good about myself. I want my body to look good. I want to be a lot leaner. I don't want to be as fat, you know, so I'm doing that for me. An additive from that is people noticing it. Maybe women are more attracted to me now. Those are just additions to me wanting to live a better lifestyle, a healthier lifestyle. Now, I'm going to get this job, not so I can compete with my friends and say who has a better job or who makes more money. No, I want that job because I want to live a successful life. I want to have a nice home. I want to be able to take care of my wife, my family. That's why I want that nice job. The additive of maybe women liking me more because I'm a successful man or me being able to go on trips of in other places that maybe my friends couldn't do. Those are just additives. But in the end, you need to be doing it for yourself because if you're not doing it for yourself, you won't sustain it and you will never be happy like that. It will be short term happiness, but it won't be sustained happiness. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for sustained happiness. We want that long term happiness instead of just that quick rush of dopamine like a drug. And then we're looking for our next high because that wasn't enough. No, we're looking for that sustain. We're, we're, we're you know, we're we're doing this for ourselves because what we're doing makes us happy. So make sure that whatever it is that you're trying to build confidence in is for you and not for other people. Allow that just to be additives or additions that just come along. They, they just come with the territory. They come with the game. But in the end, it needs to be for you. And remember, what you can change and what you can't change. Understand the difference. I'm big in stoicism. I like to call myself a modern stoic. And that's one of the, like, the founding principles is being able to understand what is in your control and what's not in your control. And as long as you know what's in your control and what's not in your control, you know what you can change. So in the end, I'm trying to give you guys actionable steps. I'm not no guru, I'm nothing like that. I'm not gonna throw stuff out there that you can't apply to your life the next day. I'm trying to give you actionable steps. And in order to build confidence, we have to do the work on the back end. We have to get ourselves in a place where we're confident and that requires work. That requires you doing things that nobody sees to get you in a place where you're confident. People always see the end result. I see LeBron being the best basketball player in the world, but I did not see his road there. I did not see him getting up at 6 a.m. in the morning, putting in the work to become that person. But now that he is that person, you see him being a confident player at the highest level. But that's because he put the work in on the back end. So in order to build that confidence, in order to feel sexier when you go to the beach, in order to feel more confident when you're in that job interview, in order to feel more confident when you're talking to that woman at the club or at the bar or at the library, <laughs> we have to do work on the back end to build that confidence. We have to put in the work just like anything. Anything, everything comes with work. Nothing comes easy because if it came easy, you wouldn't appreciate it and you wouldn't value it if it came easy. So um, focus on putting that work in and focus on the things that you can control and can't control. But I thank you guys for checking out this video. I'm trying to bring the length of my videos down, um, you know, just because today's times is hard to keep the attention of most people, you know, so. Um, I want to shorten my videos, make them a little bit more shorter. 
Um, so maybe, you know, you guys are, would be more interested in watching a full video that's nine min minutes versus a video that's 15 to 27 minutes. Um, so, yeah, I thank you guys for checking out this video and I'm going to have more content on the way. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.